As we can see here, Microsoft Office does not work on Linux, unlike other software that works on both Windows and Linux. The updates available for these software, except for Open Office. For WPS Office, we have an additional feature to read PDF files. Additionally, Microsoft Office is a paid software, while the others are free. Let's now check the price of Microsoft Office. For the Office Home and Student version, we need to pay nearly $150. And as I mentioned before, it is up to date. The last update is 18 days ago. And the same case can be found for LibreOffice and WPS Office, except for Open Office. The final release was in 2011. We begin by installing LibreOffice. Open the terminal in super user mode. We update and upgrade the system. I will include all the commands in the description of this video. Now, let's proceed with the installation of LibreOffice, known for its simplicity and user-friendly interface. I kindly ask for your support by subscribing and liking the video. We will now change the default file extension to make it compatible with Microsoft Office. As you can see, it has the same file extension as Microsoft Word, and the same applies to Excel and PowerPoint. Now, we are proceeding with the installation of OpenOffice. Firstly, we download it. We extract the downloaded file and then navigate to the installation directory. We will now change the default file extension to make it compatible with Microsoft Office. As you can see, it has the same file extension as Microsoft Word, and the same applies to Excel and PowerPoint.
Finally, we proceed with the installation of WPS Office. First, we download it from the official website. We extract the downloaded file and then navigate to the installation directory. For WPS Office, there is no need to change the file extension as it is compatible with Microsoft Office by default. And, as I mentioned, WPS Office provides us with the ability to read PDF files.